New tonight at 9, a disturbing story as federal prosecutors bring charges against multiple people involved in buying and selling stolen human parts. Yeah, the details are very chilling. Individuals across multiple states accused of stealing parts of bodies used for medical research, even stillborn babies, and selling them for thousands of dollars. One of those alleged buyers is a man from East Bethel, Minnesota. Courtney Godfrey has the details. The disturbing details laid out in a 20 page federal indictment. Bones, skulls, skin, dissected faces and heads, and even whole stillborn corpses sold and shipped for profit. Many of those parts, prosecutors allege, landing right here on the front doorstep of Matthew Lampy's East Bethel home. The 52 year old accused of exchanging more than $100,000 in online payments with this man, Jeremy Pauley buying and selling cadaver parts from each other since 2018. Communicating mostly on Facebook Messenger, Polly once wrote to Lampy, going to pack up your brain and heart tonight. Arm isn't here yet, but I'll send it out as soon as it arrives. Lampy responding, nice, parts, correct? In a separate transaction last year, Polly traded a fetus to Lampy along with more than $1,500 in exchange for five human skulls. Federal prosecutors say Lampy was part of a multi-state trafficking ring that involves stolen remains from Harvard Medical School and an Arkansas mortuary. In a statement, Harvard officials said, we're appalled to learn that something so disturbing could happen on our campus. The reported incidents are a betrayal of Harvard Medical School and most importantly, each of the individuals who altruistically chose to will their bodies to HMS through the anatomical gift program. Business records show Lampy owns a tattoo shop in White Bear Lake, now vacant. Released on bond today, he declined to comment when reached by phone. In East Bethel, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.